I don't know what I've done, but I don't really regret it at the moment. Maybe I'll regret it in the future, but I don't regret it now. Because I had to use these stickers for something, so... Put them on my violin case. <laughs> Thank you.
every violinist sounds bad when they first start playing the violin literally and also every day when they pick up their violin they don't sound as good as they will in maybe a few hours after they had practiced because it takes time to become one with the violin because it's a very unnatural thing to do and you have to get used to it and you can't just like immediately pick it up and expect to sound like Hilary Hahn because it just takes you getting through the bad sound to get to the good sound okay you just have to keep going that's what I've learned because I sounded pretty good today (laughs) I found it pretty good, okay? I did, I really, I almost cried. Like, honestly, like I was actually shook by my own playing today because I, I practiced today more than I have recently and I was, like, really, like, let's do it. And I, like, was a little bit shook. I was like, wow, I can do this. Like, I really, and I was like, wow, like, getting emotional. I don't know why. Maybe because I was looking at that picture. I have this picture of this girl playing the violin. It's the most beautiful digital painting. And it was just, like, I was just feeling the music so much and I was like looking at that image and I was like oh my god this is happiness but sometimes when you practice at night and then you wake up in the morning early and start playing again you will kind of retain the ability and level of playing that you had last night so that's just a little tip if you ever have a performance in the morning practice the night before and in the morning but usually I'm not allowed to practice at night. But I think there was one time where I did. Because I was, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like performances in the morning. But like I had one once. Some facts about violins. This is the bow. And this is called the frog. Your thumb goes right here. Touching the frog. In between here. And your pinky goes on top. This is the violin. This is the chin rest. These are the fine tuners, and these are the pegs up here. You can make bigger adjustments with the pegs and smaller adjustments to the pitch of the strings with these fine tuners. This is the bridge. It's not glued down, it never is. It's just held down by the pressure of the string. This is the scroll right here. These are the F holes. Um, this is a pickup. This is the fingerboard, the big black piece of wood here. Because your fingers go on it. These are the stri- strings. G, D, A, E. And um, that's this is the shoulder rest. It comes off. practicing really hard today and I got to a place in my playing that sounds really good and I'm really happy with it obviously I have to keep practicing to maintain that for tomorrow
I need a new A string because it's unraveling. Once it starts to unravel, you'll feel a bump and it might start like sliding up and down this little bump. It's unraveling. So you need a new one. Time for a new one. This is what happens when I pluck it. Do you see this? That's what's making a ringing sound. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah.
I'm sorry, but tell me why she music from the 1700s is still costing me five dollars. <laughs> I mean, at this point, like you should just give it out for free. Like I don't, it's the guy's dead. Okay. So this is the pickup, and it just sits in the bridge like there, right there. New string, hello E string, and the, also the G and D string are new. That is the A? No. Just G, D, E. It's taking me a little bit to get used to it. I, it was really hard to get used to at first. I'm slowly starting to get used to it. When I get new strings on my violin, it always sounds really bad in the beginning and then I get used to it, so I know I'm going to get used to these and I have started to get used to them already just playing a little bit, but at first it was like, oh my god. That's why I shouldn't play for people right when they got put on in the shop. I was like, oh yeah, let me play something. No, I should not have done that and they didn't even ask me to this time. I just did it and I was like, oh god, I should not. Here's a preview of my new strings. Those were the correct notes. I think I just played them out of tune, but it, I was thinking, wait, was that the wrong notes? inspired again and I want to share that because it could help motivate or inspire someone or just help change someone's negative thought pattern because I have negative 
thought patterns that are controlled by like fear and you know and uh, bad feelings but I was thinking how I want to live my life how I wanted to live it I want to be able to say that I lived my life how I wanted to and I don't want to let fear control me and I was thinking what if what would I do if I had no fear what if I lived my life without fear if I wasn't afraid of anything what would I do and I was like oh my god that totally changed my mind because I let con fear control me with a lot of things like scared like anxiety is a fear like having being afraid to play the violin for people because you're afraid what if I wasn't afraid what if I wasn't afraid of anything how would I live my life how I, I would live my life how I want to you know what I mean if I wasn't afraid of anything, I'd live my life how I want to. So, think about, like, what you would do if you had no more fear. Yeah. What I need. Jake. and chew gum at the same time. Let's go to happening.
nothing hurts my arm arms more than playing the violin right here. Just right here, it hurts the best.
Okay. I definitely played that wrong, so I'm working on it. I'm fixing it. Okay, just because it's driving me crazy, I'm gonna play the actual ending now.
Okay, I'm, rest I'm restarting. <laughs>
right here. So yeah. <laughs>
Brandenburg Concerto number five. Also, my A string is ringing because it's unraveling, and I need to replace the string. Because it's very important to rosin your bow before you start playing. Don't be lazy. Makes a world of a difference. Yeah, it was supposed to be more staccato like that. Thank you for watching my video. That was a lot of work to edit and it took me three days and I had to deep dive into my Instagram and dig through my computer and my phone and other people's phones to get a lot of that footage. And I'm finally glad to have it all 
together so I don't feel like it was all a waste to just post it on Instagram stories and it's gone after 24 hours which is why now I don't post violin videos on Instagram stories if I post a violin video I want it to be a full video either on YouTube or for my main feed of Instagram and I also didn't have a lot of phone storage in the past, which is why a lot of my videos were really short and I had to go to Instagram stories to post short videos. And that was the only camera that I had, which is my iPhone 7 Plus at the time. Um, there was a lot of physical, mental, and emotional struggle and pain during that whole time and I'm really proud of myself for accomplishing all of that and looking back on all of that I was really hard on myself and I am actually able to appreciate what I've accomplished now looking back at it whereas at the time I was just being extremely self-critical and always feeling like I'm not good enough like it's not good enough it's not good enough and I couldn't just appreciate what I had accomplished now I feel like I can appreciate what I've accomplished looking back at it so that's why I'm so thankful that I have it recorded please subscribe to my youtube channel because I will be posting videos in the future and press like on the video that really helps me leave a comment as long as it's nice and you can follow me on instagram it is linked in the description at Bryce Andrew Music. And yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.